Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. Don't forget to fill out the survey below to help give me feedback on this channel and help it improve. The link is in the description below. Today, we're going to discuss binary search trees. If you haven't come across this concept before, I'll try and break it down now. A tree is a data structure that represents a set of information by organizing it hierarchically so that it looks like a tree. Each element is a node in the tree and can have children nodes. Like the reporting structure in a company, there is probably a CEO at the top with many vice presidents reporting to the CEO. The vice presidents each have directors or managers reporting to them, and each manager has individuals reporting to them. A binary tree is a tree where each node can only have two children. These are commonly referred to as left and right children. Since each node can only have two children, when you add a new element to the binary tree, you have to add the element as a child of a node that does not already have two children. So we search from the root node down to its children to find one that does not already have two already and add it to it. A new node added to the bottom of the tree that does not have children is called a leaf node, just like the leaf on the edge of a tree. So here's an example. If we wanted to add a new node, we would have to add it down below 2 or below 1, 4, and 6 because 3, 2, five, and three, two, and 5 already have two children. Now, a binary search tree is a binary tree that is organized in such a way as to facilitate searching. Each left child must be less than or equal to the parent node, and each right child must be greater than or equal to the parent node. So you can see here, 2 is less than 3, and 5 is greater than 3. So they're organized on the left and right, respectively. Each child is also the root of its own smaller binary tree. So you can see 1 is less than 2, so it's on its left. 4 is less than 5, and 6 is greater than 5, so it's on its right. And 7 is greater than 6, so it's on its right. Now that we know what a binary search tree is, our task today is to construct a binary search tree and print out its height. The height of a tree is defined as the number of edges in the longest branch of a tree. In the image here, the longest branch or path is 3 to 5 to 6 to 7. The path has four nodes, but only three edges. So the height of the tree is 3. If the tree only has one element, the height is 0. And if a tree has no elements or is empty, the height is negative 1. We calculate the height of a tree by adding 1 to the maximum height of a tree's children. So to calculate the height of a tree, we are actually using recursion to go through all the children of the tree and calculating their height to find the overall height for the tree. So how do we construct a binary tree? Well, the first element we add to the tree will be its root. That's easy. In an empty tree, the first element should be, by definition, the root. If we add a second element, we have to compare it to the root. If it is less than or equal to the root, we add it on the left. Otherwise, we add it as the right child. If there's already a left child or a right child, we treat that child as the root and add a new element to that tree. Just like with 1 here. We tried to add it to 3, but 3 already had a left child too. So we add 1 to 2, and it goes on the left of 2. And to get the height, we use a recursive solution. You should review day 9 to go over the fundamentals of recursion. We will solve the base cases first. So if there's no root to the tree, an empty tree, we will return a height of negative 1. If the tree only has one element, like 1, 4, or 7 here, then we will return a height of 0. Otherwise, we will find the height of the left tree and the right tree and add 1 to their maximum height. So the height here for this right tree on 3 is 2, because there's two edges here. And the height of this left tree on 3 is 1. So the maximum is 2 over here, and we'll add 1 to that because we're adding an edge. So the maximum height of this tree overall is going to be 3. All right, let's see what we have today. 
HackRank has already implemented the node and tree initializer methods for us. Each node is initialized with the data and the empty left and right element. When an element is inserted into the tree, it is added to the root if the root is empty. Otherwise, it is added to the left or the right depending on whether it is less than or greater than the root. If you look closely on line 11, you can see that the element is added recursively to the left or right since the method calls insert again to add the data to the left. Now let's implement the get height method. If there is no root, we are looking at an empty tree and should return negative one. If we are at the edge of a tree on a leaf node, there will be no left and no right, and the height here is zero. Otherwise, we will get the left height and right height of the node's children by calling get height recursively. Then we're going to return 1 plus the max of left or right. Let's test our solution. Looks good. Let's submit it and see how we did. Awesome. Hit that thumbs up for a good solution. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to fill out the survey to help give me feedback. The link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you will know when I post the next video. If you missed the previous video, you can click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please comment down below. Thanks and I'll see you next time.